Hey, it's me, Lucas Roth, CFA, CPA, and Realtor. I'm here to help you make money in real estate. I'm gonna walk you through a calculation that's very simple. This is what lenders are going to do uh, when they're trying to qualify you for the purchase of a property with the loan, okay? First number, they're gonna take your gross income. Now, for round numbers, let's just say it's $10,000 per month, okay? That's your gross income before taxes. Next, you're gonna have debt to income ratio. We're gonna use 45%. Some loan programs might let you exceed that. Most will let you get up to 45%, somewhere around there. Okay, what that calculation does is it tells you, okay, this is, as far as your lender is concerned, this is your maximum debt. This is as much debt obligations as you can have uh, per month. Now, that's your max total debt. This includes all your debt. Let's say you got a car loan that's 300, uh, another car that's 400, you don't have any credit card debt, but then you do have a student loan that's 500 per month, okay? So total, you're at 1,200 of existing debt. Your existing debt, I'm gonna write here. So if your max is 4,500, you already have $1,200 of debt, uh, but you don't have any housing debt yet, right? Because you haven't purchased the property, you're just renting. Well, the difference, that is your maximum housing payment, okay? Max housing payment. Now, this has to cover, um, you know, your, your mortgage, insurance, principal interest, taxes, insurance, um, HOA dues, everything. Your total payment has to fit into $3,300 per month. Now, there's a lot of variables going on, meaning your down payment, interest rate, et cetera. But right now, I'm just going to give you like, a, like an understanding, a framework of understanding. So let's say interest rates right now are 3.75%. In Seattle, you're buying a single family home. You're going to do a 30-year mortgage. Um, if you have 20% down, then you're going to be in the $750,000 price range. And you're going to be able to fit into that monthly payment. If you have same assumptions, except you only have 5% down, you're going to be looking at like a $600,000 house. Okay. So that's give you some framework to understand. This is what a lender is going to do to figure out how much housing payment you can afford. Okay. Very easy calculation. Get that done on your own, figure it out before you have to start sending tax returns, running credit, talk to a bunch of lenders, submitting all that stuff. Just do this calculation, get a framework for you to understand when you're just starting to look and you're welcome. LucasRoth.com. Like and subscribe if you would. Appreciate you watching the video.